We've had some requests to do a gear review of the Stone Glacier Sky Archer 6400 backpack, which is the one that you see here. Uh, it just so happens that I'm ready kind of to retire and move on from one of my very favorite packs of all time, which was this uh, Stone Glacier 7400 pack. They don't make this one anymore. Um, I can still use this. It was one of my all-time favorites, but I think I'm ready to move on to a new pack. So I'm just going to run you through the Sky Archer 6400, which is the pack that I'm going to move to. I'm going to be using that pack this year on all my hunts. Uh, I've got a couple of backpack elk hunts. I've got a caribou hunt. Um, got some deer hunts even that I'm going to do a little bit of backpacking on. And this is going to be the pack that I'm going to be using this year. So once again, this is the Sky Archer 6400. Uh, 6400, obviously, because that's the amount of total cubic inches that you get within this backpack. You get uh, 5,900 cubic inches in the main compartment, the main bag, and you get another 500 cubic inches within the top lid. Uh, this backpack does come with a top lid. Uh, this backpack is gonna come on the X-curve frame that you can kind of see here. You can see you've got some curvature of this frame. It's a nice ergonomical fit to your back. Uh, I've found in a lot of the backpacks that I've used over the years that I actually like the curvature built into the frame. I just think it rides better, I think it's more comfortable, um, and this is a frame that I've really, really liked over the last few years. So before I jump into the bag part of this backpack, I'm going to just touch on the frame itself. Once again, that's the X-Curve frame. It's got four internal stays. You have two vertical stays on the outside, and then you have two that go in an X fashion across the middle of that pack. Those are molded, solid carbon fiber stays. No longer those carbon fiber rod, it's actually a molded carbon fiber uh, stay in that shape. Um, you can insert those here or remove them if you were to have any issues in the bottom of this pack, you can actually replace those. Uh, I haven't had any reason to do so. I've had excellent wear and tear out of this x curve frame. Of course, you got your shoulder harness here, which is adjustable with the individual straps themselves. Those are held in with Velcro, so you can get a custom fit for your shoulders. You can slide those up or down for your torso height. The other thing that you can do with these shoulder straps is angle them out. If you have broader shoulders and you need a little more extra width around your neck and on your shoulders, that's a great feature of this shoulder harness. The frame itself is 26 inches, which is something that I personally appreciate. I've got a long torso. When I get this pack loaded really heavy, uh, I need that added height in the frame for the load lifters to get a comfortable lift and help me lift a really heavy load. Uh, that's something that I really, really like. You can see here at the bottom, you've got your hip belt. Uh, it's got this tacky rubber exterior. It's gonna sit in the small of your back. I like this material a lot because it's not gonna move or shift around on your back when you're hiking. Um, you can see you've got a compression strap across your chest. And then you've got your hip belt, which has individually adjustable um, hip compression straps here on either side. You can adjust those to get a good fit on the uh, cusp of your hip, which is great. You've got the forward assist poles on the hip belt, which is great. So you're not pulling those away from yourself, trying to get that fit. You just do the buckle up and you simply pull both of those in to get a nice cinch on and lock on your hips. Um, I really like this hip belt. Once again, I love the x curve frame. I've been using it for a bunch of years and I've had really, really, really good luck with that frame. The uh, x curve frame also has the load shelf built into it, uh, which is, gives you the ability to pack meat or any other extra equipment between the bag and the frame. It's relatively easy to get to. You just simply do your shoulder harness uh, straps here, your load lifter straps. You have to do the un undo the compression straps on the side, and then there's a little locking strap here that sits against the load shelf itself. You just pop that bag up and off the frame. One thing I really like about the load shelf on the X-Curve frame is that the shelf itself sits up off the base of the pack, maybe three or four inches, which gives you the ability to secure that heavy weight higher up your back. You can run the straps from your load shelf all the way to the top of the frame, which allows you to keep that heavy load up higher off your hips, kind of frees your hips up and helps you walk easier when you've got a lot of weight on your back. Now I'm going to just jump in and actually do a quick run through on the bag itself. Uh, as I said, 5,900 cubic inches, 500 cubic inches in the lid. The lid is a pretty simple design. You've simply just got one zipper across the front here. Uh, I've got a stone glacier puppy jacket stuffed inside that to give it some volume, kind of see what it looks like when it's fully filled. 
You have one 30 inch zipper along the side and then you also obviously have the top load which I'll show you here in a sec. You can see you've got compression straps up both sides. You've got one lower one here and then two buckle straps here. Again, that's on both sides of your pack. You can see that you've got a couple of extra pockets on the exterior of the bag, one here and one here. You can stick any extra gear that you want, a set of gloves or a beanie, anything that you need quick access to. Or you can run the legs of your tripod into the bottom of those and then use the compression straps to secure that. One thing unique about the Sky Archer 6400 is it has an internal spotting scope pocket, which I will show you now. So you can see you've got an internal sleeve here for a spotting scope, which is a nice little feature. It keeps that protected from the rest of your gear. It also gives you extremely easy access to your spotting scope via the large zipper on the one side. So I'm just going to show you the top access to the main bag. You've got the draw cord here at the top with access to the main compartment of the bag. You can see you've got plenty of room. You have a really tall collar here on the top if you want to stuff that completely full. You can absolutely do so. You can fit a lot of gear in this. You can see here you have a hydro port and it runs out of both sides so that you can run that to either your left or right shoulder depending on your, your comfort and you know if you're right handed or left handed what you prefer. So you can see that's how you have access to the main bag. Uh, another unique feature about these Stone Glacier backpacks is they have these seams sewn in here that you can see and they have the compression straps that actually link up with those and the reason that they have those is so that you can run this main bag in what they call bivy mode and that's so that you can use the backpack without the top lid if you want and you can pull uh, the backpack in at these seams they actually kind of fold in and compress with the compression straps and then the top compression strap they kind of fold in and it makes a nice uh, little concise backpack that you can use without the top lid that just doesn't you know look messy and, and work messy like a lot of other backpacks do that just simply have a draw cord closure at the top of that pack so that's kind of how that works so the sky archer 6400 it was really built by stone glacier to be a high country backpack bow hunters dream pack uh, it's big enough that you can do, you know, six to eight days. I would say that's probably the wheelhouse for this backpack. You could potentially do more days than that if you're an efficient packer, but I would say that the wheelhouse for this is typically, you know, that five, six to eight day range. Materials in this backpack are extremely durable. Uh, the main bag itself is 500 Cordura. All the zippers are YKK. Um, built in the United States, which is a great feature of these Stone Glacier backpacks. Um, the overall weight of this pack is going to be about 5 pounds, 8 ounces. That's bag and frame, which is a really nice weight. It's not the lightest pack on the market, but it's also heavy duty enough that you can put a lot of weight in this backpack comfortably and carry it out without worrying about this pack uh, breaking on you. Uh, they put the load rating at 150 pounds. I know personally I've had over 100 pounds on this uh, x curve frame without issue. Once again, it does have that built-in load shelf. It's my favorite load shelf of any backpack that I've used. Uh, this is just an all-around really nice backpack hunter's pack, whether you're a bow hunter, a rifle hunter, a muzzleloader hunter. Any time of year, this is a backpack that's going to suit your knees. And this is going to be the backpack I'll be using on all my hunts this year. Uh, last year, Chris Neville in our office that I hunt with a lot, he used this pack. He did a little video on our elk hunt in Colorado last year on how to pack this bag, how he uses it. So if you want more information on how to load this backpack and see some of the internal features and how he uh, loads his stuff inside this pack, you can check that video out in the link below. Once again, this is the Sky Archer 6400. This is a phenomenal backpack. I can't recommend it enough. Now's the time to get yourself a backpack, get some miles in, Break in your boots, get ready to go, because the season's coming.